Hey guys, ExoJet here, and today I have something super awesome to show you guys. But first off, I want to say sorry for not uploading. Um, I was building, I uh, was bu busy building my computer, and it's what I'm using right now. Um, it's a lot better than my last computer. Um, I can put the specs in the description below and stuff, and as you can see, I'm getting right around 100 frames per second while recording. And I don't know why, but when I'm recording, I get right around a hundred ish, you know. But when I'm not recording, I can get like 400 frames per second pretty easily. So I don't know what that's really about. I'm gonna have to figure out some of the settings. Um, I'm probably just forgetting something, and that's really causing a lot of lag. But yeah, this is my first video in a long time, so, you know, I've kind of forgotten how to make videos, but I'm definitely going to start making videos again, and I'm sorry for the really long wait. Um, there are a few minor setbacks with the computer and stuff, and what I have in front of me here is a triple extender, and um, it's, I think, the smallest triple extender of this kind. You know, it's seamless, uh, goes one into the ground, and when it comes out, it comes out kind of like a double extender, you know. Um, of this kind of triple extender, I do believe it is the smallest. It um, it has one spaz right there, as you can see. Um, I don't find that a problem. And I made it with Sacred Redstone. Uh, I found this really cool clock thing, and I tried making it so the clock would stop, and that's really how the triple extender works. And so he found this thing right here, which makes the triple extender stop clocking. And so that's what he did here. And uh, his channel will be in the description below. Um, so I'm quickly going to show how it works. Uh, pretty simple. The tutorial won't really need to be anything special. So I'm just going to build a really quick clock here. So here's the basic system. Um... As you can see, there's just, when you flick the lever on, this piston will extend. Then this torch will turn on, which will extend this piston and this piston. And a two-tick repeater here for delay. So when you turn this off, this right here will turn off. Then this torch right here will go, um, this piston will turn off and come in. And then this repeater will bring that in. And then this clock right here will pulse this piston to grab that. And it will go up here and grab some stuff, and it'll just, like, do this pretty much. And this is the retraction. And so, all you have to do now is stop the clock. Um, if you can stop the clock, then you have a triple extender. So, start the clock up again. There we go. So, it's pretty much just a triple extender with the clock here. And it's very nice. I feel like this could be smaller if you made it 4x2x5. By by uh, but this right now is 3x3x5. Three three so it's pretty good, pretty small. Um, I do think it's the smallest. And so you guys can pretty much see how to build this much. These are all sticky pistons, of course. Uh, torches. This works with repeater inputs and stuff as well. And now what we did was pretty much the same concept as the torch with the clock that I showed you but instead you can use a comparator here as well that will act like a torch uh, same delay and everything so what you do is you get two hoppers here and a uh, two droppers here and a hopper here with a comparator there and a block here and then if you want this to be more reliable, because the item gets shot out of the dropper and into the hopper. And of course, very rarely, um, this may not work for some reason. Like the item could go way off and land on this repeater here or something. Some weird things can happen sometimes. And so this hopper will not grab the item. Um, if you guys want this to be way more reliable... Uh, you can just add a minecart with a hopper just like that and that will pick up the item and then send that into the hopper uh that's not really needed though 
you know, you don't need that. Uh, that's just if you want this to be, like, really, really reliable. But even without it, it almost never fails. I've never seen it fail. Um, so you don't need that there, but it's pretty good to have. Uh, then you place a comparator here, a dust here. There's a regular piston down here for updating the bottom dropper. And just a dropper hopper here. Like this. Put an item in here. And we're done. And the way it works is pretty complicated with the stopper mechanism. And it has to do with like the pulses. And this will shoot out the item. And there's a bunch of clicks of the empty droppers and stuff. But it is the smallest triple extender of this kind. Like there are triple extenders. But they don't have the floor at this level. And they don't extend up to this height. So yeah that's about it really. Um. I'm definitely going to be uploading more, and I'm going to try to fix the frame per second thing, because without recording, I get 400 frames, and I don't know, the 300 frame per second drop isn't really normal, so I'm going to figure out what's up, uh, yeah, but that's really just about it, so thanks for watching, and bye.